Welcome back to the Morning Blend. When people have Alzheimer's and dementia, they're often forced to give up their dreams. They can't enjoy experiences they once loved, but at this place, caregivers make dreams of the past a reality. Azura Assisted Living and Memory Care is on a mission to transform the culture of care for aging adults. Justine Barton is here to explain their unique Mosaic Dreams program. Good morning to you, Justine. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing great. I can't wait to talk about this wonderful program in just a second, but first for people who've never visited your beautiful spaces, tell us about it. Sure, so Azura of Fox Point has been open a little over a year now, and they offer a home-like setting that was specifically designed for those with memory loss. Um, they have compassionate caregivers that are specifically trained in caring for those with a cognitive impairment. Um, and using Azura's mosaic philosophy of care, um, we offer tailored activities and engagements to keep residents engaged throughout the day, ensuring that they have the best quality of life. Yeah, you can sense it in every nook and cranny there I've visited. It, it's not only beautiful, but there, there's so much to every bit of the design. And I wonder how you explain to people that Azura Fox Point is unique from other homes that people might visit or be familiar with. Yeah, so what's really unique about it is although it's a larger community, um, can hold up to 88 residents, it's broken into four smaller households um, with no more than 22 residents in each home so that they really have more of an intimate family style type of living. Um, we know that oftentimes with dementia, you know, too much noise or too many people in one area can be overstimulating. And these smaller households really help with that. Um, and then they look and feel like a home. So the residents can feel like they're at home and they're not at a hotel or confused as to where they are. Um, but yet it has all the amenities of a larger community with a cafe and a community room. So if we're having a special event, like an entertainer coming in to perform, we can bring all the residents from the homes together. So currently we have three of the four homes opening and we're getting ready to open up the fourth home next month. Wow, what do you feel it is then um, that really sets you apart? Sure, well, Azura's household model would be one thing, our aging in place bathrooms with cutting edge um, safety features, as well as our high caregiver to resident ratio um, that with our caregivers have over 115 hours of training, including they all go through the virtual dementia tour um, and our Mosaic Dreams program. Yes, please tell us about that. I just absolutely love what you do um, to make dreams come true. Yes, yeah, so we partner with Second Wind Dreams which is an internationally known nonprofit organization that mission is to fulfill elders' dreams. And so through our Mosaic Dreams program, we ask our residents, what would their death best day be? Whether it be something that they loved doing in the past and they always enjoyed, but because of the disease, they haven't been able to do it, or something that they wish that they had the opportunity to do, but they never got a chance to. We do our best to make those dreams a reality. I love that, looking at that people golfing or being back at a school they taught at for decades, officiating a wedding. What are some of the dreams that you've made come true recently? Yeah, so actually, like you said, we had a resident that officiated wed weddings um, for his family and friends. And one of our maintenance directors was actually planning to get married and decided to get married in the courtyard of our home so that this resident could officiate his wedding. You know, we had a real officiant on standby in case, but he that was him practicing. He practiced for weeks up until the wedding um, and he was so excited to do it. That's adorable. Are there, um, share this one too. Yes, yeah, so um, this resident, he married his wife years ago um, at a courthouse by a traffic judge. But one of the things that really bothered him with his Jewish faith was that he never was married in a synagogue by a rabbi. And so he remarried his wife in a synagogue by a rabbi. And we even had a party afterwards with cake and a klezmer band. Oh, that's so cool. What about the bowling dream? 
Yes, so that resident, she loves bowling and she bowled on a, a league back in the 70s. And now at our home, she we bowls every day. She's even taught all the other residents how to we bowl. But she'll always talk about how she wishes she could bowl on a league again. So we got one of her old bowling mates and that's actually them together with their picture that they took back in 77. And we got a league together and she got to bowl again. And uh, she was so excited. She wishes she would have done better, but she loved it. Well, um, and and I, this resident, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, we, we're running out of time. This is a World War II resident I know who wanted to fly helicopters. You got him back in a helicopter. You had a school reunion. Um, there was somebody um, who, who had traveled but never made it to Hawaii. Um, there was another dream that involved Elvis, um, an impersonator, um, and then a resident who also sang with a local choir. Really quickly, because we ran out of time, how are you often make dreams come true for your residents, but now you're opening up and you're going to offer it to another member of the community. Isn't that right? Yes, so if anyone has a loved one or knows of someone that is going through this difficult journey, um, please go to our website, azuraliving.com, um, go to the contact us button, and there's a drop down where you can select mosaic dreams. And then in the comments section, put what the dream would be. And we're going to choose someone out in the community to make their dream come true. I love this. Thank you so much, Justine, for joining us this morning. What a wonderful program. Thank you. Yeah, and a reminder that Azura is inviting you to take a virtual dementia tour. That's happening on Thursday, February 17th. The tour helps create empathy about the daily struggles of people living with dementia. To register for a 30 minute window, visit AzuraLiving.com or call the phone number that you see there on the screen. Also, they are hosting a live webinar with dementia care expert Tipa Snow on Thursday, February 24th. That's at 4 p.m. Again, register by going to their website. Azura Living and Memory Care is open for tours. Call them at 414-208-5215. If you want to submit a mosaic dream for someone you know, go to the Contact Us page on their website.